Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over libraries and package manager. Now this is Dart Editor 1.8, right here, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is new project. Let's just call it um, library. And I'm not done with classes yet. So we're not done with classes yet. We have a long way to go, but before we start learning how to write a class or write libraries, I want to be able to go over how to use libraries. I just think it's easier to use code than it is to write code or to read code. Okay, so since um, the change of Dart Editor 1.8, the screen looks different when you create a console app. By the way, when you do that, it's right here. Okay, so it, this, this screen here looks different. Everything looks different. So we're going to go over some things. Um, so remember that, well, I'm just going to delete this for right now. Remember when we talk about uh, built-in methods and functions, we are, remember we can do something like this. And then automatically we have built-in methods right here. But what if we need more than something like this? Well, there's a problem when you have too much this list becomes super, super long, right? And it gets so long that it's no longer helpful. It's like the needle in the haystack. You you want to find your needle here, but you have to go through 10,000 um, of these options to really find it. Okay, so that's a problem. But then there's a the problem of having too few. And if there's only one or two choices and you need the third choice, it's not there. How do you get it? Well, there's two ways. One is simply import. This I'm going to comment out for right now, okay? We'll get back to it in a second. Import Dart. Okay, so just typing import, quote, single or double quotes makes no difference. Control Alt. I'm sorry, Control Space. Um, and let's go to Dart Math. Okay. What Dart Math is, it's a built in library. Okay, you just have to import it. So now you have a bunch of extra extra different methods that you can use. Um, one example is print pow to four. And what that is is power two to the fourth power. So two times itself four times, two times two equals four, times two equals eight, times two equals sixteen. So it should print sixteen. Okay. Um, if we comment commented out import function pow not defined, we no longer have access to this function itself. But because we imported into our, our um, application right here, we now can use more methods, and we'll go over them more in the future, in a future video. Um, we'll, we'll go over some more of these um, methods and functions in um, Dart Math, uh, but we now have access to a greater number of libraries, and that's what's nice. Now, but if we remember, now we, we have a bunch of options here. Right here. But what if we need things in addition to this? From what I recall, um, I think I read somewhere, I'm not 100% positive on this, all of these are created by the Dart team. Um, so all of these built-in features. But what if you have something that is outside and something that the um, Dart team didn't have time to do or it wasn't important to them. Well, that's what we have the community. The community basically produces these things right here, packages. And they, they create them and they publish them in a certain location and we access them. How do we import these? Well, there's a problem here. Remember we talked about dependencies. What if you had a particular library Okay, and it required dependencies. So I got this library, I put it somewhere here, then I got another library, which was a dependency, and put it there, and then I have to chase down some other obscure library and put it there. So it's very hard to track all of these libraries down, what you need and when. So what you need is basically a package manager. Package manager right here. What a package manager does is it gets all of these libraries, puts them together for you, and it makes it easily accessible for you. And that's what the package manager does. In Dart, it is called pub. Now to access pub, right here, pubspec.yaml, you can double click on it and see that right here, or you can right click, either one. Um, if you want to add an extra library that's not in the main built-in, it is 
probably you know one of the community members made it. I'm, I'm just going to use this one, okay? MS. Once you add it on top of there, either pub get right here or pub get right here, okay? So it gets the um, functions, sends it into the program right here. That's not good enough. So it is in the packages, list of packages right here, but we need to actually import it again right here. And so it would be import, this time it's package, colon, we go down, find it right here, okay, ms.dart. Now what does ms actually do? ms actually turns every bit of time into milliseconds, let's say two seconds. What is that? That's going to be 2,000 milliseconds. Um, 2 sec, same thing. Um, 2 days, 2 hours. So it's kind of neat, all right? No matter what, you can actually type text inside of there. Now, if you type a known text, if you type something strange like hours like that which nobody would understand anyway it won't understand it either but that just it, it's a package that um, somebody in the community made you can import it pub get okay and then you have to import it and then you have access to the functions or the libraries in this package ms.dart okay now here's another problem what if you have a bunch of different libraries going on um, okay, so I just said for math, it was pow two to the four, right? By the way, this means it's an unused import. It's imported, but you're not using it. So it's Dart Editor's way of saying, why don't you just get rid of it? But what if I also created a class or a function called pow? Okay, so um, uh, int a, int b, and I said return a divided by b so that would be double right so, so what if i did something like this what am i gonna ha what's gonna happen right here it gives me 0.5 but i'm gonna say hey wait a minute I, I i don't i didn't mean to name it this but i guess i did anyway and i can't really change it um so what do i do right here well the reason why it's hard to sometimes change functions is if you could think you have thousands of lines and thousands of functions classes all over the place if you change one sometimes you're going to break some other parts of the code because there might be some obscure places that depends upon this and if you just start changing stuff you'll break it somewhere down along the line okay so it's kind of like um uh, in a picture you may think just if you have a big huge picture taking out a small section would not be a real big deal it might screw the whole picture up okay so what do I do in this case itself? Here, this gives us a clue right here. So it says as library. The as term is when you have conflicting um, uh, functions or methods here. So for here, I would say Dart math as um, example. Now, what you write here, you could say as math or as anything you want. It's easier just to put as math or the same name as the um, library itself. And the reason why is because this becomes the object, the, the, the beginning part of the object itself. So instead of if I wanted to do root a divided, this divided by this, that's one thing. Now I have to do math dot pow. And that will give me a different function altogether. Two, four. And what will that give me? That will give me this function, okay? Or that library. So that's what happens. So the as, um, as term with respect to imports um, designates this name, this whatever you put here is, you, you could list A, B, example, whatever you want to actually do, um, but just to make it easier, name it the same thing. Um, it, it gives you a means to overcome conflicting names right inside of here, okay? So this would always refer to something local before it refers to something outside. Um, right here, math.pow, 
accesses right here. Okay, and that's what we're doing with this here package library. Um, it just says this library right here, which is represented right here. We'll go over this in some future video. It's just accessing it as library. So what's what's this do? This returns six times seven. So if you want to say print um, library dot what was the name of the function? Was it calculate? It was calculate dot calculate. We'll delete these. And it returns 42 because it was 6 times 7. Okay, but as library, so if you change this to L, that gives you an error. Undefined name library, you'd have to change this to L as well. Okay, you cannot do just like this. It'll give you no such method because there's no such, unless you did this, then you can do it. Okay, so you, there was no as. So you just access directly the method itself. And because you actually um, did not, the, because there is no naming conflict inside of here, it's perfectly safe to do. All right, so I hope this helps. We will go over some of the other built-in functions themselves, just a few of them, and just to kind of get a feel, and we'll go over a little bit of like reading the documentations in the future of videos. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.